physics is making a headway into medicine through imaging. And, you know, we were under the impression, you know, the medical community was under the impression that we cannot take a picture of the mind. That was true for a long time, but now we can. I'm Ali Arkangarlu and I'm an MRI physicist. I'm Marta Moreno, I'm a clinical neuroscientist. I've been interested in uh, the ways that we can improve on the imaging of the human brain. I have achieved the uh, goal of developing a new technology for the treatment of neuropsychiatric disorders using functional magnetic resonance imaging combined with transcranial magnetic stimulation. And we have been very successful in treating patients with different psychiatric and neurological diseases. This technology uh, is very focal, is very precise, is harmless, addressing specific circuits of the brain that are malfunctioning based on the um, psychiatric or neurological diseases. And we are able to aim to those circuits with the transcranial magnetic stimulation and restore the pattern of activation and connectivity of those regions that comes with a change in behavior. Our proprietary technology is right now, uh, we would say, the best out there. We have seen very good results uh, with many different kinds of patients. Once you have mapped the brain of the patient and detect where the abnormalities reside, by changing the dynamics of the brain, you're going to induce changes in the condition that you are treating. One of the unique aspects of neurotherapeutics or functional MRI-guided TMS is the fact that it's highly localized. This is in sharp contrast with the way that medicine has been practiced in the last century. When you take a medication, you know, for instance, a Tylenol for your headache, it really goes all throughout your body and a small fraction of it goes to the area where it's really needed. There are a lot of work pharmaceutical companies are doing to make the medicine even targeted, but we are not there yet. But neuromodulation and neurotherapeutics and TMS is already there. So when patients uh, come to, to neurotherapeutics, uh, they come in a very bad condition. We usually treat the patients uh, at the last resort when they have tried all the available medications and uh, treatments within the standard clinical care. It's very rewarding to see the changes in, in the life of the patients. This dimension, the human dimension that neurotherapeutics provides is, is, is our philosophy and encourages us to, to continue with this project.